Hi, it's Maritza. I'm coming with you today with the best of skincare tag challenge. I was tagged by my friend Laura, so I'm going to answer, answer some questions today about my skincare routine, and I'm going to write in my blog what I just talked about in a little more in depth um, about the products that I'm using. So, hope you like it. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. So, what is my skincare type? It's combination. So, that means I'm a little oily or greasy in the T zone area forehead, nose, and chin, and dry on the cheeks. Um, what, where do I store my skincare products? I store them um, under the sink in my extra bathroom that does not have a bathtub. That's where I keep them. Um, what's my favorite ingredient? I love tamanu oil. If you don't know what that is, um, read about it on my blog. It's amazing, amazing. Uh, what's my most indulgent product? I would have to go with the Clarisonic Mia 2. Um, it's listed on Amazon for almost $170. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about this later and you can read about it on my blog post. Um, what is my best budget buy? Well, by far, it's got to be the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. It's only $3. This is awesome. Um, it, read about it on my blog. So everything I'm talking about today is um, written in my blog and there's links to it and if there's a coupon code I wrote it down so you can pick up your your own. So um, if I use any tools, yes, you just saw that. That was the Clarisonic Mia 2. Um, there might be a 3, I'm not sure, but there's a 1 and there's other kinds. So there's different colors. I got the blue one. Uh, the the scrubber comes off so this is to scrub and exfoliate your face neck and body so there's different attachments for different skin types and there's um, a bigger one if you want to do your you know scrub your body with it but one thing that a lot of people don't know is that this middle piece comes out like that so if you want to scrub like a smaller area on your face like around the nose and stuff um, this might be better than you know than the whole thing so that's my tool of the, of the trade <laughs> to help exfoliate, which is definitely um, essential as part of your skincare routine. Uh, what is the best mask? My favorite mask is Pangea Organics Japanese Matcha Tea with Acai and Goji Berries mask. This mask is incredible. Um, read all about it on my, um, on my blog. But this also is an answer to another question, which is what is the best spot treatment? This definitely does it. I'll put on a little bit if I'm getting a blemish. Put a little bit on overnight and it totally um, knocks it out, you know, by the next day. So this is packed full of antioxidants and uh, all natural ingredients. So check it out. Uh, let's see. Best multi-use. Um, besides that, um, I would have to go with Nilotic um, Cream. If you haven't heard about this, um, read all about it in my post. But... Um, it smells amazing. This is a lemon, the lemon one, and you can use it um, anywhere on your body. And it's um, it's really creamy and absorbs really well into your skin. So this is good as a face cream, body cream, cuticle cream, lip balm, um, anywhere. So this is like my favorite multi-use um, because it's packed full of all natural ingredients and antioxidants, and it helps to heal your skin um, wherever you wherever you put it. So definitely worth looking into um what else what is the one um skincare brand i would stick with if i had to choose only one it would have to be pangea organics they make my favorite uh mask and they also make um a bunch of other stuff for um for face body and home so um that's my favorite so what is let's see the my favorite step of the skincare routine, I would have to say that would be um, moisturizing. I love to moisturize my skin. So some people, you know, question why you need to moisturize if you have oily skin. Uh, again, I have combination skin, so I do get oily in the middle, um, but I still need to moisturize and everyone should moisturize. So that's my favorite because I just like the um, feel of my skin being moisturized and nourished and I feel healthy and useful. So that's my my favorite, um, what's on my wish list? Um, probably more uh, products of what I already have, and I'm going to go into some of those products that I use um, on a daily basis. Um, but I want to try as many um, natural skincare brands as possible. So there's 
tons out there and I would love to just try them all. So that's what's on my wish list. The specifics are on the blog post, so check those out. Um, and if you're willing to uh, fulfill some of those wishes, hey, thank you. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start now with uh, my skincare routine. And I'm not going to go into too much depth of the products themselves because it's all written down. Um, but I'm going to just kind of show you what I use. So the first step in facial skincare is cleansing. So one of my favorite skincare cleansers is this KMS Mineral Essentials um, African Black Soap. Um, I added the pump to it. It came with just, um, you know, like a bottle to pour it out, but it's, you only need a tiny bit. So I, I added the spray pump to make it easier to just spray one spray and then wash your face with it. And this is perfect for combination skin. Takes away the extra, um, you know, oil from your skin, but doesn't over dry it. Um, I alternate that, um, you know, weekly with the Bella Aura Gentle Facial Cleanser. And this is like a creamy cleanser for all skin types and I like that it's very gentle but leaves my skin feeling amazing. Um, I like that it's a glass bottle. So okay, so what do you do after you cleanse? You, um, you exfoliate. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite exfoliators. It's the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. This is great. It has um, argan stem cell, chlorella and a bunch of other um, natural ingredients and I love that it scrubs off that dead uh, you know layer of skin cells so that your uh, skin can be moisturized you know because you don't want to moisturize dead skin cells you got to get those off right so this <laughs> this does the trick you know face neck decollete area um, it's awesome speaking of exfoliating uh, you know what what else is on your face lips right you have to exfoliate your lips um, so that's what I use the elf lip exfoliator for it's um, it's really easy to to apply and it's uh, this one is the Mint Maniac, but they have different like flavors and whatnot. Um, so that's pretty good for that. So after exfoliating everything, I like to do a facial mask once or twice a week. And that's where the Pangea Japanese Matcha Tea with Acai and Goji Berries mask comes in. Uh, I leave this on about 10 to 15 minutes, face, neck, decollete. A lot of people forget about their neck um, and they stop at the chin. But no, you know, what's going to tell your age first? your neck and your hands. So don't forget, you know, don't forget that area. So I do, you know, I do that with the, um, any I have left over, I'll put it on the back of my hands, you know, cause you're shaking people's hands. You want your hands to be smooth and, and youthful looking. So, you know, do a little facial for your hands too. Um, so after that, then, um, I do a toner. So toners are to balance the pH on your skin and to prepare your skin to receive the benefits of moisturizing. So um, I really like this in the weeds um, glow facial toner. And uh, this is something I wanted to give away, but um, she makes her own, um, you know, facial and body um, tonics that are um, all natural and, and awesome. So I like this toner. You spray, you know, a few sprays, face, neck, and decollete, uh, let it evaporate on its own. You don't have to rub it in or anything. Um, it has some really awesome ingredients that work well for your body. After that dries, then I do the Juice Beauty uh, Green Apple Age Defy Serum. So this is an anti-aging serum. Um, every, I would say advanced skincare regimen should have some kind of serum and this is my go-to, Juice Beauty. Um, next is the moisturizing part. You know, we did, we did kind of like the basics there. The next step is uh, moisturizing all that stuff. So the Nilotic moisturizer, you can do that morning and night. You can put makeup on over it. It's not going to, you know, uh, mess it up or smudge or anything. Uh, then there's this Loving Naturals anti-aging cream. It uh, reduces wrinkles and it's all natural ingredients. Um, again, you can do it morning and night. I don't put these on together. I kind of alternate weekly um, or monthly or whatever I feel like doing, but, um, <laughs> you only need a little bit. So, you know, a little goes a long way and, you know, face, neck, decollete. Um, don't forget the back of your neck. That's, you know, that's part of your neck. A lot of people forget the back of their neck, but you know, put it on all the way around and your neck too. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, that makes your skin feel amazing. Look amazing too. So, um, 
I love facial oils and one of my new favorites is Truth in Skincare Healing Oils um, Serum and this was created by um, by physician so I'm I'm really loving that so this you only need a couple of drops um, you know on your face um, again face neck decollete back of your neck as well you know you know 360 so you know you rub that in and you can put it on top of the moisturizer that you just put on and it feels amazing you can use it um, you know for cuticle oil uh, lip you can put it on your lips eyebrows you know wherever eyelashes and it feels amazing it smells it smells great nice and natural it's organic um, so remember uh, we were talking about our necks we don't want our necks to be like a tree trunk that shows how, how old we are um, so you gotta take care of it but this um, ski derm smart neck cream is definitely um, a must-have it's specifically designed for your neck so all around your neck not just in the front put this on um, and I do this um, at night but you could do it in the morning and at night uh, massage uh, says morning and evening gentle upward strokes so definitely worth it now I'm very um, into sun protection because UV rays from the sun will prematurely age you and, and show signs of aging, uh, wrinkles, sunspots, and whatnot. So I don't want that. So I, I use Tarte Guard uh, SPF 30. This is a natural um, sunscreen, and I like that it's not greasy. So I put it on about a half hour before I leave for work in the morning. A lot of people forget that you can't just throw it on and then go because it's not going to work right away. It takes time to kind of sink in and work. So. Um, you know, so I put that on, you know, as I'm getting ready for work, it takes at least a half hour to work. As I'm going to work, I'm protected from the sun by, by having this on me. And then um, it wears off after a while. It doesn't last forever, right? So after a few hours, you have to reapply. So I, I put it back on about an hour before I'm leaving work so that I can go home and still have that sun protection on me. Um, that's one of my skincare secrets. So um, what else is on your face? lips right <laughs> that's one of the things that people look at when you talk to them they look at your your mouth um so i want my lips to be not only exfoliated but moisturized so that's where the pangea lip balm comes in they make different flavors and this one is the italian red mandarin with rose lip balm it's super smooth and i like that it's like it's really thick not like a skinny tube um so it goes it's it works well for your lips but i can use this also on my cuticles eyebrows wherever i want and it um, moisturizes my lips and keeps them soft. Um, so I like that this has rose oil in it. You know, it takes about 30 roses to make one drop of oil. So that's precious stuff and it's, and it's amazing. It works wonders. Um, and then we didn't forget our eyes, eye cream, right? So um, the thing about eye cream is to be very gentle because it's the thinnest skin on your body around your eyes. So you wanna use your ring finger and just put a tiny drop. You only need a little bit of this. If you use too much, your your pores can kind of clog up around your eyes, and that's not that's not pretty. <laughs> um, my go-to eye cream is 100% pure caffeine, coffee bean caffeine eye cream. So that's that's this. Um, so I put a little bit on my ring finger, tap them together, and then just kind of dab around the eyes, the, around the eye bone, and then all the way around. So you don't want to go like right next to your eye or something like that because it's too close. If you just put it on the on the brow bone, your skin will dry it up where it has to be. And you don't want to be tugging on your skin either. You just want to be very gentle. Just kind of dab it around. And it'll go and do what it's supposed to do and keep your eyes looking rested and not puffy and not with dark circles and stuff. Um, so I think that was everything. Um, I hope I didn't speak too quickly. If I did, um, leave me some feedback and I'll, I'll do another one. <laughs> but uh, hope you um, enjoyed it and maybe learned something. Um, follow me on Instagram, Beauty Ecologist is my screen name, and um, maybe I'll tag you next.